What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today is Western Day, so how do I look? Hit me up in the comments section. But today's video is a cool activity called Bring the Cut Back. If you want to see it, you're going to have to stay with me. So bring the cut back is an activity that I do with my campers. This is our fourth day. So as soon as they start getting comfortable with forwards and adding time blocks and turns, it's an activity kind of where we culminate all those skills and put it into a mission where they got to bring the cut back. So let's go ahead and go to the floor and see what their mission is. So I usually will give the students an option depending on their grade level, um, whether they should work by themselves or work alone. I, had, I just saw a class of fifth graders, so I let them partner up, but I let some of them go by themselves if they thought they can do this. So the object or the mission here is for the robot to start behind the blue line. And we definitely have a discussion on how do they think they're going to bring this red cup back past the blue line. Now in uh, summers before, we would have a medium motor on the robot, but here, no medium motor. So they're going to have to figure out, um, you know, just a, a boatload of ideas. Um, so here are some of the ideas that some of my students had. One uh, team thought that they would go forward and actually back up, bringing the cup back. I thought, oh, that was genius. I didn't even think of that. Um, but most of them have the idea of going forward, turning around and trapping the cup and then bringing it back. Some teams actually trap the cup going forward and bringing the cut back. So it's a lot of trial and error, test and check on their times. Uh, did it go far enough forward? Did it turn enough? And usually I let them just come past the blue line. I try to have them come by where they came from, but some end up coming back over there. And usually I, I, if I have time, I'll tell them to you know lengthen that turn so they come back farther this way. But you know if they can get past the blue, it's a win-win for everybody. So let me go ahead and just show you some video um, of the kids trying to figure this out. Oh, nice. Beautiful job, ladies. Press it. There we go. Yeah. You think you have yours? Nice. Nicely done, guys. Whoa, what's your robot? Good job. So a big yeehaw from Mr. Hino. Hopefully you like this activity. The kids really, you know, if you hype it up like a mission, like, come on, let's see who can do this. Um, if you feel comfortable, like, trying to race and say who can you know be the first three groups that make it you know go for it but it's just cool to just let them experiment you know so for some of you might just let your kids chill and not make it too competitive um feel your class out and see what they enjoy better but it's a cool activity to kind of have them put their skills together and it's really fun for them to bring it past the line because they're like yeah all right guys i am mr hino for missing lego robotics i'm out <laughs>